very good morning dear students it's a beautiful day isn't it for us to do some learning but before we do a little bit of learning we are going to revise few of our earlier poems that we had learned quickly with me from your english oxford book see your turn to page number 51 okay so i hope you are ready with your oxford modern english book page number 5151 so let us begin the earth is round a frog is said Sitting on a log, standing near is a shaggy dog. Bow wow, says dog. Bow wow to you, and the frog says, "How do you do?" If you like, says dog, come with me. Have a ride. on my back for free we'll walk and talk and travel far no need for plane train boat or car how nice says frog for i have heard from a dear friend of mine a bird that the earth is not flat but round and the sky never meets the ground so off they go for a whole day the right spun i'm happy to say and they find that the earth is round the sky never touches the ground i had explained you the poem made you understand the rhyming word and you know what is the poem about right the earth is round we now move to page number 5858 this is sun and moon okay the moon shines clear as silver the sun shines bright as gold and both are very lovely and very very old god hung them up as lanterns for all beneath the sky and nobody can blow them out for they are far they are up to high again this poem we have done this is just for revision <clears throat> the moon shines clear as silver the sun shines bright as gold and both are very lovely and very very old god hung them up as lanterns for all beneath the sky and nobody can blow them out for they are up to hi these are our poems for the day that you need to revise my dear children we will first do this worksheet which we have discussed we have also done another worksheet prior to this this is chapter number 7 clever fox and greedy wolf worksheet number 3 quickly take a pencil in your hand write the section first e isn't it the date is 11.11.202020 the dash the sliding dash also represents the same thing please write your name your full name not just your first name full name now we have a uh, what we have to do in this worksheet we are going to look at it together read the given passage 
and answer the following question. So we will read the passage that is mentioned here and answer the question given below. A clever fox met a greedy wolf in the forest. I am hungry, growled the wolf. I am going to eat you up. The fox was frightened. Frightened means scared. Frightened means scared. Growled yani chillaya. He screamed. He shouted. Don't eat me, Mr. Wolf. Please don't, cried the fox. Why not? Roared again, which means loudly he said. The wolf, I am hungry. The fox had an idea. Come with me, said the fox. I will find you some food. The fox took the wolf to an old house. So we know the story that the clever fox met a greedy wolf in the forest. And the wolf was very hungry. He wanted to eat the fox. But the fox was a clever one. He got an idea. He said, don't eat me, but I can take you to a place where you can have your stomach full of food. Okay. Let's see. To an old house he had taken. What happened? Who was clever? You will write the answer. T-H-E, then one finger space. The fox. F-O-X. Fox was clever. C L E V E R clever. Full stop. Who was greedy? Who was greedy? The wolf. W-O-L-F, wolf. And the half of the answer is always in the uh, question, which you can see was greedy. G-R-E-E-D-Y, greedy. Full stop. Who had an idea? Who had an idea? You know, the fox. We don't even need to look at the passage if we know our story. F-O-X had H-A-D an idea. I E A full stop. Okay, let's go down. Who said to whom? I am hungry. Who said this to whom? You will say wolf. Two. Fox. Full stop. Don't eat me. Now, fox to wolf, you will write here. Fox to wolf. I will find you some food. Fox said to wolf also is right. Okay. Complete the following. The fox took the wolf to, you can see here and write from the passage. The fox took the wolf to an old house. An old house is what you will write here. Clever fox met the greedy wolf in the forest. In the forest from here, you will write it on the line here. Now, color your favorite cake. So, any color, you can color your cake and nicely make it ready. And send it across to Neha ma'am for all of us to eat the yummy cake. Yes, these are wonderful worksheets. My dear students, remember, we all have to do it nicely together. I will be waiting for you to complete this work. 
and i shall see you in the next class till then remember do the reading also um this is your last class before your diwali holidays be safe play safely if you are trying to burst the crackers which we should not to spoil the environment or hurt any animals you have to do it in front of mummy and daddy and only in their presence not alone okay after this class directly on 18 you will be receiving the videos and after that we will begin with our online reading interactions okay so enjoy your holidays be safe pray for all the corona warriors and everybody who is suffering from corona so that they may be healed okay and you may all be safe wishing you all a very happy diwali